Hi, welcome to the rule of acquisition number 29. This is the reciprocal thinking postulate. And humans usually get stuff backwards before they get it right. Rule of acquisition 29A, does A cause B or does B cause A? 29B, ask yourself, is there a C that causes both A and B? And we'll get into what those mean in a moment. Humans are like birds that imprint the first thing they see and nothing can change it. Humans typically last on to the first rational explanation of something and then stubbornly hold on to that explanation beyond the point of all reason. Okay, but this imprinting trap, if you want to call it that, is made worse by the fact that humans typically get stuff backwards before they get it right. Let me give you an example. Vision. It was originally thought that vision was a result of rays coming out of the eye and striking an object. Now we believe the opposite, that it's the light rays entering your eye is how the eye functions. Then there was the old Earth-centric model where we believed that the sun went around the Earth. Now we now believe the opposite, that the Earth goes around the sun. Rot. It was once believed that the microorganisms that, that evolved from rot uh, were caused by or a byproduct of the rot. And then Louis Pasteur proved that the microorganisms cause the rot. If you can keep the microorganisms out of the food or the flesh, the rot will not occur. And who created who? You ask a religious person, they're going to say God created the universe. You ask a scientific person, they're going to say the universe created God, meaning if humans evolved from the stuff of the universe and the humans created God, then by, defin by vicariously then, the universe created God. For me, I, the universe looks a lot like an incredibly large parallel experiment with you know, billions of billions of galaxies, with each with billions and billions of stars, with God knows how many planets around each star. To me, it looks like an experiment where somebody is doing a lot of stuff in parallel for an extent, extremely long period of time. It's an experiment that, to me, seems to be designed to find a very, very, very improbable um, event or outcome. And perhaps the universe is looking for an intelligent species that won't annihilate itself. I don't think humans are that species. Okay, but there's probably plenty other examples where we get stuff backwards long before we get it right, if we even get it right. So the reciprocal thinking postulate is to A, 29, humans usually get it backwards before they get it right. And 29A is always ask. Does A cause B, or does B cause A? And we'll give you an example of that in a moment. Uh, oh, here's the example. Climate change. Does warming occur because of CO2, or does CO2 levels increase when the planet warms? These are the charts that are in Scientific American, February 2007. When I saw these charts, I said, oh, global warming's a load of bullshit. Every engineer I show these charts to go, oh, global warming is a bunch of bullshit. In other words, it's backwards. If you look at the chart, when the temperature goes up, the CO2 goes up. When the temperature goes down, the carbon dioxide follows. This leads this. This occurs first. It does not cause that. That's the least thing you can say. It's likely that this causes this, but there's also a alternative, which is rule of acquisition 29B, which says, is there something else that might be causing A and B? Something else that's causing the temperature and the CO2 to rise. Well, if you look, we got the sun, which is a nuclear furnace, and the uh, we are on the surface of a planet that's got a nuclear furnace at its core, so we're between a rock and a hard place. And to say that our exhaling and fart gases are a major contributor to how warm we are is ridiculous when you look at where we are. Okay, If anything, this chart says that the earth warms and the reason for the earth warming is probably the sun and the core of the earth and what happens is when the earth warms living creatures and, and when the earth warms and the ice, ice recedes living breathing creatures expand in population and the gases go up. When the earth cools it takes a while for those creatures to die off, and that's why there's a lagging in the drop-off in the CO2, which is the respiration gases of creatures. 
And so, conclusion, reciprocal thinking is an aspect of polytheorism, a distinct invention. Find all possible models and theories that fit a given phenomenon and then disambiguate. And there's a video for polytheorism disambiguation paradigm which will be released in a month or two. By employing reciprocal thinking, it's possible to provide at least one or two other theories to support polytheorism. Thank you very, very much.